Welcome to our demonstration on the HF27, a hands-free ultrasound that was invented by the R.J. Lindquist Company some 40 years ago. We have since modernized it and updated it to the unit that it is today. The ultrasound can be used in combination with muscle stimulation through the sound head, or you can use muscle stimulation in one area and ultrasound in another. The HF27 comes with a gel pad, retainer ring, weight bag, a spray bottle, two three inch carbon electrodes with wires, a four inch carbon electrode, and two Velcro straps. The hands-free ultrasound is turned on with a power button in the back of the unit. You have four selector knobs. The first is the timer, and your power supply for your ultrasound is to your far left. The two middle knobs will control your muscle stimulation, one for frequency and the other for intensity. The timer can be set up to 15 minutes. The hands-free ultrasound consists of three crystals that are harmonically set and vibrate as one big crystal. The sound head is 65 centimeters square. It can be illustrated with water on the sound head that the whole sound head from the edge to the middle will vibrate and treat one large area on a patient. The ultrasound is a pulsating ultrasound. It pulsates at 50% on and 50% off at 60 Hertz. We are using low intensity ultrasound, about 20% of what you would do a conventional sound head. When treating with ultrasound, we put the retainer ring around the sound head. This helps to hold in the reusable gel pad onto the sound head. To keep it sanitary for the patient, we wet a paper towel, we put that on a patient and against the gel pad. We're now ready to start treating the patient. If you push your start stop button and you hear a beep, it's indicating that you need to set your time. Likewise, if you go to start the unit and press your button, your power, if it's not set to off, will illuminate and tell you to turn the intensity down to off. Set your time to the desired treatment time, usually about 7, 10, or even 12 minutes. Turn your button on, and to the left you have your intensity. We have recommendations for what intensity is used for certain parts of the body. For treating the low back, we're going to be using the wet paper towel against the patient, the retainer ring, and the gel pad. We also use a weight bag to hold this in place. We then can turn up our intensity, and usually for a low back treatment, it's anywhere from 0.15 the .22. The safety cutoff switch can be plugged in to the front of the unit. It should be handed to the patient and if they experience any pain or discomfort during ultrasound or muscle stimulation they can hit the button and the unit will turn off. The reusable gel pad contours to any shape of the body. It is used as a coupling agent for the ultrasound and eliminates the need for any messy gel. During combination therapy, both ultrasound and muscle stimulation will penetrate through the gel pad. After you use the gel pad, rehydrate it by spraying in the container and on top of the pad and insert it back in its case. This will prolong the use of the gel pad. The hands-free ultrasound also has a low volt muscle stimulator. 
the cable is plugged into the front of the unit. Make sure that the switch in the front of the unit says MS. That means you can do muscle stimulation in one area and ultrasound in another. We supply carbon pads, however you can use the stick-on pads. Make sure with the carbon pads that you moisten the paper towel and wrap the pad. And you secure that to the patient either with our elasticized Velcro strap or you could use a weight bag. Make sure your intensity is to off. You can push your start stop button. It will light up. You can choose your frequency anywhere from one to a hundred. And then you can dial up your intensity according to the patient's tolerance and comfort level. You also want to hand the patient the cutoff switch, which again plugs into the front and can be used to shut down the machine at any time. One of the really nice features of the hands-free ultrasound is again using this gel pad. Uh, you'll notice that when we wet the paper towel and we're doing the cervical area, that gel pad will contour perfectly to a irregular area. In this type of treatment, we're doing muscle stimulation in one area and ultrasound in another. If we want to use combination of ultrasound and muscle stimulation right through the sound head, we would remove the two small pads and on the front of the unit switch this over to combination. This will now allow you to do muscle stimulation and ultrasound right through the sound head. When you switch it over, it actually makes the black lead to your cable dead and the live one will be the red one. This is called your disperser pad. You'd want to moisten your paper towel and put this in an area as a disbursement pad or if you wanted to put it adjacent to the sound head, you can. At this point, you're now treating with muscle stimulation and ultrasound right through the sound head. Again, we would use a weight bag to hold that in place. We start with our frequency at whatever frequency that you desire for treating and then increase the intensity level again to patient comfort and tolerance. You would also set your ultrasound power to what is recommended in our brochure. When treating any of the extremities, we have a special extremity strap. You would want to place a wet paper towel down on the patient, the gel pad over top, and fasten that securely with a strap. If you would like to do combination and get muscle stimulation right through the sound head, you could put the disbursement pad on the underside of the arm or a different place on the body. As the wrist, knee, ankle, foot, and shoulder. Thank you for viewing the demonstration of the hands-free ultrasound. As you can see, the hands-free ultrasound is a pulsating ultrasound at lower intensities. Therefore, you can leave it on a patient for a much longer time. It is safe with little heat buildup. It will save you time, money, and energy and the stationary sound head allows for controlled, repeatable treatments. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to call Hill Laboratories.